right. Give me an attempt to go tubeless. Got the stuff I need. These are Schrader, since that's a uh, Schrader tire wheel. All right, remove the uh, rubber gasket around the uh, spoke holes. I also had a warning that these should be covered. And I have the uh, Gorilla Tape, and it is too big. It's one inch, so I'm going to have to cut this shorter. All right. Added about four ounces to the tire after uh, taping it using this tape. Gorilla tape. I had to use a razor blade and a block of wood and just uh, you know etch it out so it wasn't as wide. You can't use this too wide, so you have to cut it down. So you can use a bigger one or but uh, use a razor blade to uh, score it. You have to score it deep enough, or you're not going to go all the way around. It's amazing how much tape it uses. <laughs> Uh, a little bit over four ounces because uh, this is my first time doing the tire and once I got it up to uh, oh I had to initially start it with a co2 part just to get the, the pop then I hand pumped it with a floor pump uh, physically and uh, had a little tiny pinholes squirt me I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was be tubeless ready, <laughs> or the tire at least. But uh, yeah, this worked out good. I don't see anything coming through the spokes, so the tape's holding. Uh, the tire's all slick. It's like uh, stuff's just oozing out of it. I don't know. So you have that uh, bead that goes around the uh, tire. Should be seen all the way around. And uh, yeah, this is SX19. Uh, uh, the biggest tire you can use is a 2.4. So this is a Vigilante 2.3 front tire. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of weird getting uh, little pinholes in it and squirting me. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. It's uh, pumped up to 45, like it says, 45. I didn't pump it up higher, so I don't know what happens. Huh. But this uh, feels all whole tire feels like all slick I don't know we'll see so so far it's holding air and moved it around jumped it around shook it like all the other videos I've watched but I never saw anyone do uh, SX 19 so, so far it's working. I'll let you know tomorrow. All right, this is what it looks like after you did the uh, Gorilla Tape. And the hole's right here. I start it above the hole and then it below. Kind of overlapped it quite a bit, but uh, 
still work. Looks good, tight. That's the tape. And the tape I used. Measured it, and I used the razor blade, and I got yet to cut it pretty deep. I almost ran out. <laughs> Let's measure it. That's the valve that's going in. The Schrader valve since it's a Schrader uh, rim. And using this uh, yaw to poke the hole. Alright. Schrader valve push through. Alright. Got the tire mounted. I have a little arrow there, <laughs> kind of highlighted it so I can see. Uh, it's mounted and all I need to do is put the fluid in and pump it up. I wish it was that easy. Alright, I was able to get this one with the, this hand pump. Pumping hard. The only thing that bothers me, if you do this, then you have all these tiny pinholes all over the place. Tiny pinholes. Wiped it off. I mean, they, they fill up, but. Kind of irritating. And this is the uh, Trail Boss uh, 2.25. So we got a smaller wheel on the back, and I got the Vigilante on the uh, front. But we'll see if this holds. And this is uh, WTB SX19. 29 inch straighter valve going through the straighter valve hole. So we'll see if this works. But I mean, all these pinholes. But it's holding air. The uh, stuff's doing what it needs to do. This one was left overnight, flipped it a few times, still holding air. Well, the tires are set. Uh, tubeless. This is a Vigilante uh, 2.3. Did not know this about uh, the uh, forks. Forks are tire specific too. They're supposed to take a 2.25 max. So I maxed out the uh, forks. The back's still at 2.25. And it's still holding. Take it for a test ride. All right. The tires are still holding. A few days later. I'm at the Fullerton Loop. It's 11 miles. Take a ride. See how they act. Pressure's around 35. It might be a little bit too high. I don't know pressures. I do have a gap still right here. So, yeah, the forks recommend uh, these forks. The TCT recommend the biggest tire to go on there is a 2.8. No, 2.2. 8. 
This is a 2.3, so it's slightly bigger. Of course, they don't make tires that like that. So. Let's see how they do. Alright, about 8 miles, 8 miles into the Fullerton Loop. The tires are, seem like they're working okay. But the problem I have, I'm missing a chain. Chain broke. Got it. Kind of funny because I ordered a master link a few days ago and it's due to arrive. Thursday, <laughs> so that's funny. That looks like I'm walking up the hills and just coasting down the hills. But the tires uh, seem to be doing pretty good. So, I was checking out the bike, wiping down things, and I noticed uh, that this uh, bottom bracket was loose luckily. I had a socket that fit in there and tightened that up. But uh, I don't know, it just feels odd. Cross threaded it or something. But I gotta keep an eye on that. And then you have exposed uh, aluminum here. So, all right. Took it for a test ride. I had two marks. One right here, one at the top. I lined both of them together. I uh, went for a ride and this one moved back here. So it was starting to loosen up again. I just tightened up as much as I could. I got a quarter. It feels more flush. It still has a uh, edge right here. But everything else looks flat. I just wondered if they did cross thread it. We'll see. Alright, and update on the tires after a week. This seems to go down slowly, so I gotta re pump this one up. This one's been staying pretty strong. But, uh,. Definitely need to change out the forks on these. All right, put back on. Made this as tight as possible, remarked it. Uh, put this back on. It said about 340 pounds, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've seen people grease them. I just put it back with the, the blue Loctite. Thread locker blue medium strength. Uh, that's what they used last time. That's what I used. Uh, tighten it down and we'll see how this, uh, I guess this is a cassette of some sort that goes through the cranks and we'll see if that works. Seems like you always gotta check everything make sure everything's tight. <laughs> All right, going to be heading down the trail. Never seen the leak a little bit off this side. I don't know if you can see that. This is the front one. Still pretty good. I'll gauge them when I get home. Let's see. I had this one at 35, I bet you it's a lot lower. And about this one at about 30. But they're doing pretty good. So it's been over a week. Been on the Fullerton Loop twice, testing out the tires. So I've gone tubeless and seems like it's doing pretty good. I'll check the pressures. And the other item I had was right down here and that's doing good. So 
So both tires lost pressure. Maybe about five PSI at the most. But other words, I'm happy. And you gotta watch out. Notice this was a little loose. I had to tighten it down a little bit more. Just keep checking things. Okay, the tire did good. GT Avalanche 29er. These are the uh, wheels it came with. The uh, SX19. I've had it tubeless for almost two weeks now. Uh, Holds air, okay, <laughs> but it's working. So on front, I got the WTB Vigilante, and that's a 2.3. Yeah. I wouldn't go any larger with these forks. And on the back, I have a uh, Trail Boss 2.25, and everything's working out good. Uh, on the Avalanche, I did change out the pedals because they were too small. Got the large uh, pedals from Crank Brothers, Stamp 1, large. And the seat was hard. Took it for 10 miles on the old seat. And it was uh, hurting. This is WTB Coda, wide. And the, the uh, GT grips were tough on my hands. And I got the Ergon GA3 Mountain. And this is large too. And they got that wing where you can uh, rest your head. 